Sometimes I have an idea of something I'd like to draw a picture of for my sketch note, but I just cannot figure out how to draw it simply and quickly. So I want to teach you a trick that I use. I often will go to Safari. I'm going to open up Safari. And in the top window up here, I will do a search. Let's say I wanted to find out how to draw a globe. So I'm going to type in the word globe. And then I'm going to add the word clip art behind it. And that will give me a simple picture idea. I've got a bunch of things here. If I tap on images, I have many, many ideas of globes, some a little more complicated, some a little simpler. But it will give me some ideas on how I can draw a globe quickly or simply. I also will sometimes use the word icon instead of clip art, and that sometimes gives me even simpler options that I can look at. I also like a website called thenounproject.com, and it is simply icons, and so if I type in the word globe and hit search, I will see very, very simple, simple ways that I can draw globes or make globes. All right, so I'm going to go back to the globe icon, and I kind of like this drawing right here, so I'm going to tap that open, that icon right there, because it's very simple for me, and I think I can draw that. All right, now I'm going to go back into Keynote, and I'm going to show you a trick of how you can use the picture that you just found as a reference. I'm going to swipe up from the bottom, and I will see my menu at the bottom. I am going to grab Safari and I'm going to drag it off to the side like this and pull it all the way over to the side and let go. And what you will see there now is the website and I can see the picture for reference. So now I can go ahead and open up my drawing pane and I can look at that. Now remember I believe in drawing messy, so don't worry if your circles aren't perfect, if your lines aren't perfect. In fact, sometimes I like doing a little bit of a jagged line as I draw. That is totally okay. But as you can see, it is very simple for me to be able to look at that drawing and make a very simple globe. And then if I want to do the inside part, I could do that just simply by drawing again with my pencil, but I can also use that cool paint tube. And so let me show you how I'm going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and add some color. So I'm going to just trace around on the inside here. And again, don't worry if it doesn't perfectly fill inside. Totally okay. I'm going to change to a different color. And then I'm going to just kind of look at the way that those shapes kind of go around the outside. And you're only trying to give the suggestion. People will absolutely know what it is you are trying to show. So I just kind of give an outline there. And ta-da! I have a very simple drawing of a globe picture that everyone will be able to recognize. Another way that you can use to fill the inside of the globe is again using that paint tool, but if you simply tap inside of here, you will be able to fill the entire space with a solid or transparent color, and that works great as well. Finally, when you are done drawing and you want to get rid of Safari along the side of your screen, there is a little notch in the center that you can grab, oops, let me get it, and just slide over to the side. And when you do, Keynote will go back into full screen. 